Project. Yes, sir. What's the name of your project? Uh, okay, so the name of the project that I got coming out right now is called Vibes. Okay. With a with a Y, not an I. It's important. Um, it's about to, it's it's supposed to be like a spiritual thing. Um, and when they say Y instead of I, it's like well yours instead of I, is instead of we instead of me type shit. It's just it's just vibes in it. So that's why I called it Vibes. Shit. Um, I, Cause I, I can't call this dance hall. Like I can't I don't I don't want to call it dance hall, but it's definitely got like a Afro fusion like Caribbean centric like feel. Like every song is probably like like it's no hip hop for real. Okay. Every one of them tracks is like that. I'm gonna drop it um even when my baby's born, which is supposed to be like late January. Or during my birthday, which is late February. So January or February, it'll be coming. I'm really thinking about dropping it when Carnival starts. Because, you know, damn, I, I, I want to tell you more. But it's it's like I would just rather just play it type shit. And then right. you would understand it. Because me trying to explain it, I feel like that y'all like de defeats the purpose a little bit. Because right. it's literally just vibes. Um, we dropping it when it's cold so you can be booed up. Mm -hmm. Um, but we also dropping it during carnival season, so if you in another part of the world, you might fuck around and be half naked in a parade somewhere. This is true. Yin and yang. It's got a Jamaican influence, and it's got a, um, a United Kingdom influence, because I know friends, and I got family and people from both sides. So, I was starting to notice, listening to a lot of they shit, that they shit sound a certain way, and I like the beats. You know, I ain't no culture vulture or nothing, but I do play drums, and also, we're all black. So with that being said, you know what I'm saying? I don't feel like nobody really stealing anything ever. If you do it nice, you do it nice. And if you do it garbage, then you do it garbage. I'm not garbage. Do you listen to artists from the like the UK? Yeah, absolutely. Uh Stormzy, Dave, uh and, and uh Dave is on um he on that Netflix show Top Boy. Uh, Shout out to that nigga Drake, man. Uh, he, cause I think I think he's like an executive producer on that joint, and they be having like a lot of the actors on the show are artists. They are. And yeah. so I will watch the shit and then be like, yo, like I had no idea. Um, that I'm trying. I can't even think of his name because he just got me geeked up talking about Top Boy. I can't even lie, bro. That's, That's my, my shit, shit bro. <laughs> I ain't go old. bro. The Top Boy feeling like the man them shitting. Nope. Oh, bruh. Uh, and shout out to my homegirl Judith, cause she be actually putting me on to a lot of the like the wave over there, like the shit that's like new, the shit that's old. Mm -hmm. She just put me on to some shit from these niggas called uh, Crept and Conan. I don't remember what the fuck the song called, but the video was dope as shit. Everything was cool as shit. Uh, it's, this, it's this other nigga that got some shit. Um, it's I think his name is like. Hatch or something like that. You, mm -hmm. I don't know how to say it or spell it because I don't have that. But the song is called Taste, and it sounds like the nigga from the Bay Area. Okay. Like it's it's a it's a dope ass vibe, and they got so much really good music out there, especially like the R and B. Like that shit is so fucking real out there. Like niggas are taking a trip like very soon. Okay. How you make your beats? Like what 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 going to making your beats? Start with the drums. Okay. Always. Um, even though like it it don't matter what type of beat it is for me it literally doesn't it could be like the most r and beat ever i'm gonna start with the drums because that's gonna give me that format once i have that format i usually go for bass line so drums bass line or 808 and then the rest of it's gonna come to you that's what i'll say that's that's my project uh and my process honestly i like making beats on the spots so with my niggas so like We'll make a beat, and then they'll be like, hey, ho, wait, you should slow that shit down. Uh -huh. And then they'll fuck around and start rapping to it. Okay. And next thing you know, we got a song. That's how we made Jug Step. That's how we made motherfucking... How many... That's how we made, that's how we made Invasion. That's how we made Congratulations songs. Um, that just come about naturally. Because what I, what I try to do is not give myself a box. Like, <laughs> shout out to my boy Luck, but I hate that nigga because he always be like... 
Zoe, you gotta make the trap beats. You gotta make the trap beats. And then I'll make like a R and B beat and I'll see this nigga like the next day and he'll be like, Oh, so you couldn't show nobody that Nigga! What do you want from me? So like shout out to all the engineers because I know your pain now. Like now I'm an artist and an engineer and a producer. So like every angle, niggas are just blown. Honestly, what I try to do, uh, free game right now, guys, um, download new samples every week. Niggas be having old samples, wondering why they beat sound the same. Nigga, you know how many freeze? You don't even have to buy nothing. I bought everything. But y'all niggas don't have to buy shit. Like, there's free downloads everywhere. You can get a splice account. Them niggas give you plugins. All type of shit, bro. Like, the tools is out there. So whatever type of sound you want to make, I feel like you can make that shit. But as far as me, I just try to, I just do what I feel at the moment. And I feel like that's the truest way you can, you know what I'm saying? Get your point across. Yeah.